Greetings, greetings fellow grade 11s. It is Mr. Shajai here. Welcome to Back to Basics. What we are doing today, we are doing our financial maths. This is from the Gauteng province, right? This is November 2023. This is from the Gauteng province right now let's see in terms of what is that we can do now from here for an example now here they are saying you are having a phone which is worth one third of its original what of its original value which means now uh, so which means we are saying uh from here what is it that you are going to have so which means if the value of this right uh, now let's say for an example if the, the value of the phone was x right so if, the, let's say, we are saying now the principal amount before, right? The principal amount of the phone was X, which means now we are saying the new value of this particular phone now, it's going to be same as 1 over 3X altogether because they are saying now it is worth one third of its original value, right? So which means now we can then come back to our uh, our reducing uh, balance formula. Then we are saying here this is... Uh, uh, a is equals to p into 1 subtract i to the power of n, right? So now what is going to be the accumulated amount? This is 1 over 3, right? x uh, is equals to now what is going to the principal amount? This was x into 1 subtract. Now we are looking for the interest. This is compounded what? This is going to be to the power of 2, right? This is going to be to the power of 2. Then we're going to divide by x and x everywhere, right? And when you divide by x here... Right, divide by x here and you divide by x here. So you're going to be left with 1 over 3 uh, is equals to what? Right? This is equals to 1 subtract i to the power of 2. Then now, what else then now are you going to do now from here? Which means now, for an example, we must find out the square root of both sides. Look at me, right? So we must firstly find out the square root of both sides so that we can get rid of the square, right? And then you are going to do the same thing in here. So which means here you are going to be left with square root 1 over 3 is equals to 1 subtract uh, i, right? Then when you take the 1, or when you take this one, this side, which means your interest is going to be same as what? The interest is going to be same as your what? This is same as 1 subtract the root of 1 over, over 3. And then now what is the answer that you're going to have here? You're going to have 0, 0,42, which is going to be the what? Which is going to be the interest that you're going to get, right? So after here, then this is going to be same as 0, comma uh for two percent which is going to be that right which is going to be the interest that you're going to have in this particular question oh it's good now then let's look at let's look at then the next question and see in terms of what else then can we do from here now so that was the first one right look at me right uh now let's look at then the second one right let's look at then the second one and see in terms of what is it that you are going to have here on the second one, right? So now from here, we are looking at 5.2, right? So 5.2, what is it then that you're given in 5.2? They say now you're having Carl's car watch. They say is saving for new equipment, right? They are saying now Carl, right? Uh, Carl invest uh, 10,000 at an interest of 7.5% compounded monthly they say calculate the effective interest rate right now how can we then calculate the effective inf uh, 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 interest rate now let's see so we are going to say look for effective we have this formula which states now that you're having one plus i for the effective rate is equals to one plus i for the nominal over your m right uh, or rather, other other write it as n or m. It's still the same thing, right? Uh, then we can write this as n here. Then to the power of n. And then what is it that you are going to have now from here? Then you are going to substitute, right? So as we substitute, let's see in terms of what we are going to have. This is i effective. Uh, it's going to be same as what? Now remember, you can transpose this one, this other side, which means here it's going to be one plus. What is the interest that you are given? Zero comma zero seven five. Remember, interest you give. You always divide by 100 here, right? So that's going to be 0, 0,075. Then they said this is compounded monthly, which means this is going to be 12 to the power of 12 subtract 1. This subtract 1 is the one that we got from here, right? And then you are going to get the I effective. What is important is that now the answer that you are going to write in here, you must write it in full. This is same as 0, 0,075. 
uh, 7763, right, continuously, then what is going to be the I effective of this particular question for an example, right? So which means now when you multiply this by 100, then you're going to get this as 7,7. 6% which is going to what 7,76% which is going to be the answer that we are going to get in here right hopefully this one makes sense let's look at 5.2.2 uh, and see in terms of what is it that we can also do in there right look uh, now from here we are going to start here let's say now we use our number line to understand this particular question right now so from here remember there's a car uh car is investing 10,000 what uh compounded what monthly now they wanted us to calculate what is going to be the effective interest rate right All right which is going to be the what which was the first question now the first question the second question is that now they, they say cal deposited 10,000 at the end of the first year then now they say the interest rate changed to 7.8 percent compounded quarterly they say six months after later deposited a, a feather what a feather uh what five thousand now if uh carl requires to have seventeen thousand for the new equipment will he have a sufficient fund for these purchase after three years right all right then now what is it then that you're going to have now from here let's see so we are going to say now from here we need to calculate in terms of what is going to be this particular amount of money that is going to that carl is going to have for all these particular years, right? So, and now it is important to note that Carl deposited 10,000 after the first year, right? Right, they say at the end of the first year, which means now what a window period, what what is the year window period that you're having, right? So for an example, we are going to be looking at uh, these particular years, which means here we are going to be looking at now the end of year one, this is end of year one, right this is end of year two then this is end of the year uh three right now let's see so they are saying carl did what right so carl deposited ten thousand at the end of year one right now they said this particular ten thousand it end an interest right now up until year two it end an interest of what it end an interest of 7.5 percent if i'm not mistaken right uh 7.5 percent right then now they are saying now from here after this, then now, uh, the, this particular 10,000 also continued up until year number three, right? It continued up until year number three. However, now the interest here, it was different because this was 7 point what? Now this was 7.8% and then this was co uh, compounded quarterly, right? This is compounded quarterly, whereas this is compounded monthly. How to get? But now, so this is after year one, which means this is just uh, for two years, right? Now, but they said after that, now they say six months, right? Now they say after six months, after making the first uh, payment, right? Now, six months thereafter, which means for the last six months now, there was what? There was also a deposit, right? There was also a deposit of what? Of 5,000. There was also a deposit of 5,000. So which means what is it then that we can do now from here? So which means what is it that we can do? So which means one can do like this. This is A is equals to P into 1 plus I to the power of N, right? So I want us to have an understanding. They said Cal deposited 10,000, right? Uh, now, right? Now, for an example, right? Now, which means here this is going to be same as what? This is going to be same as 10,000. This is going to be your 10,000 into 1 plus, what is the interest that is what it was ending before? 0, 0,75 over what? This is over. Uh, this is going to be over what? This is over 12 for the what? For the first year, which is same as 1 multiplied by 12 here, right? However, this particular amount of money, right? Which means now the accumulated value that you're going to have here, you are also also going to add now the what the interest rate that is going to end again, which is going to be for the last year, which is same as what, which is same as zero comma, which is going to be same as zero uh one plus zero comma uh zero seven eight over what now this is four, right? It's over four. Then this is now it's going to be what now they said this is a uh, quartile, right? So which means if this is done quartile, which means now this interest is going to be end twice. 
for this particular year, which is same as two multiplied by four. Then plus, right? Plus. Now you are going to look at the 5,000, right? You are going to look at the 5,000 and say plus. Now you are having the 5,000, right? Plus the 5,000. And the interest that is going to end for the last six months, right? Remember, the 5,000 is also going to end its interest. So this is going to be one plus the interest that the 5,000 will end, which is 0, 0,78, right? 78 over what is going to be here. This is going to be four. It's compounded quantily for what? For six months. Oh, okay. Then that's how you are going to calculate what is going to be the accumulated amount that you're going to have, right? So then you'll realize that this particular person will have what? Will have 18,000, all right? 18,191,03, right? When you plug everything in the calculate. Oh, okay. So now, which means now, will this particular person have enough money uh, here? Yes. Definitely, the money is going to be enough for this person to what uh, to make this particular uh, what payment of the of the new uh, merchandise that this person wants to buy for the business. Oh, to get. So basically, now that is going to be uh, what we are required to do in this type of a question, right? Now let's look at the second thing, right? Now here we are looking at five point three. Now they say uh, two friends receive an amount of six thousand each to invest for a period of five years. They they invest the money as follows, right? So they say you are having Maven, which invest, uh, invest eight point five percent per annum on, on a simple interest. Now they say at the end of that, uh, of five years, Maven will receive a bonus of five percent extra from the principal amount, right? So then now, which means these two friends they want to invest six thousand, right? But the other one is receiving an, a simple interest. And then after everything is done, it's also going to earn an, a bonus of what? Of 5% from the amount of money that would have accumulated. Right? Now, they say Haley also received 8% uh, per annum compounded quarterly. Now, they say who will have the larger investment after five years? Justify your odds, right? So this one is going to be straightforward. Now, let's start with Maven, right? Let's start with Maven, right? So now Maven, what Maven will have, basically, it's going to be this, right? So we are saying, remember it's in a simple interest. So this is A is equals to P into 1 plus I times N, if I'm not mistaken, right? Right, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, now, then this is going to be what? That's going to be that one. Let's see. Now, which means this is going to be what? This is going to be your simple interest. Then what is it that you are having? So the principal amount for Maven, it's still 6,000 into one plus what is the interest that they said this person is going to receive they said it's going to receive an interest of 0 0.8 what or 0 0.085 percent multiplied by what is it that you're going to multiply this with you're going to multiply it by five oh it's again and then now what else then now are you going to have here which means the accumulated amount that maven will have it's going to be uh if you plug this in your calculator you're going to have eight thousand 550 oh okay. it's and then now they said on this particular amount of money right Mervin is also going to receive what they said Mervin is also going to in increase exactly receive exactly five percent of the principal amount right not the accumulated amount but the principal amount which means we then going to say what is what is five percent what is five percent of six thousand right and the five percent of six thousand it's three hundred Okay. So which means here we are going to have plus 300, which is going to be uh what which is going to be eight thousand. This is going to be eight thousand eight hundred and fifty, right? This is going to be same as eight thousand eight hundred and fifty. Once again, which is going to be the amount of money that Maven will receive. Now let's look at for let's look for the other percentage in terms of what is this uh uh, what is going to be uh Haley? What what Haley will have at the end of that five year period, right? So now, so for for Haley, let's see. So now they are saying, for an example here, you are having what this is given on a compounding uh interest. So which means this is a is equals to p into one plus your i to the power of n, right? The principal amount is six thousand into one plus what is the interest given there? This is 0, 0, this is 0, 0, 0,08, right? Over what? Over 4. Then this is 
Uh, for how long now? They said this is five. This is five times four, which is same as 20, if I'm not mistaken. Then what is going to be the accumulated amount here? So which means Haley will end up having 8,000. Uh, 915, comma, what, comma, 68. How to get. So which one here will have the what? Which one will have uh, the highest investment, right? So which means uh, we are saying now Haley will have the highest investment in this case, right? So they say Haley, right? Haley will have, right? Will have the largest, will have the largest investment. How to get. So basically that's how we go about whenever we are doing this types of question, right? Hopefully all of this makes sense. And thank you very much for listening.